You know, I, I, I got a great LSU story. When I was a kid, <clears throat> my dad had gone to school in Mississippi. And so as a kid, he, you know, we were, he was always a big fan of SEC football. And we would listen, big radio station out of New Orleans that you could get uh, basically anywhere around the country at night on Saturday night. And you'd listen to LSU. We, you know, we had five kids and not much money. So we big night, big Saturday night was drive around in the station wagon with five kids, go to get a nickel root beer at A&W, which is a little root beer about that big, and listen to LSU football games. And and when the Tigers would score, it'd be so loud in Death Valley that you couldn't even hear the announcer, right? That's how crazy it was. So when I was at Louisiana Tech, we played them, and we're going to play them down there in their homecoming. This is when Saban was there. And um, <clears throat> so I asked the head coach if my parents could – you know, come, they were coming to the game. Uh, could they ride on the bus to the stadium? Cause that's really in college football, that bus ride is really an amazing thing because you get a police escort, you know, they stop the traffic on the streets. And when you go into Baton Rouge, you, you got to kind of wind around on these really narrow streets to get back to the stadium. And the fans have been drinking since Thursday. So they are greased up and <laughs> they're beating on your bus. I'm telling, I'm telling you, they're beating on your bus when you stop at a, at a, like, as you come on campus, then it's really the roads get narrower and narrower and, and it's really a slow procession through. And so they'll start rocking your bus and all this stuff. <laughs> and my mom was sitting behind me. My mom and dad were behind me. So at, when, <clears throat> when we got, you go up this little rise to the stadium and you got to walk through the LSU fans to get into the stadium. Yeah. And so my mother, who was at that time, probably about 65, um, little sweet little lady. And my dad gets off the, bus and then my mother's in front of me taking the two steps down the bus and all of a sudden this drunk LSU fan and it's the woman about my mother's age jumps in front of my mom and she's getting off the thing and gives her the double one finger salute and says we gonna kick your ass today <laughs> and my, my mom was absolutely mortified but it was something and then they had that damn tiger you know Mike yeah. the tiger that they have well, <clears throat> when you walk into the stadium, you got to walk through these really narrow tunnels to get back to the visitor's locker room. Yeah. And they put Mike right next to the visitor's locker room. And then as your players start to walk into the locker room, they start beating on his cage. And so he goes, and that thing's got a microphone in the cage anyway. So it's so loud. And I mean to tell you, our kids were like this. They were scared to death. <laughs> wow. That's. That's amazing. I mean, I was I was going to actually get to that game a little bit later, um, but sort of uh, what was yeah. Other than that, like, what was the rest of the experience like when you played at LSU? Oh, it's fantastic because um, you know it, it's such a part of the culture in Louisiana and LSU. And I used to recruit. That was one of my recruiting areas. And certainly, if the Tigers wanted a guy they got him and now Saban's done a pretty good job of trying to make inroads in Louisiana yeah. you know he'll go down there and get he can compete with LSU for kids but you know when that program is good they basically build a fence around the state of Louisiana because the high school football in Louisiana is really really good yeah and uh, like for example uh, Tyran Matthew who went to St. Augustine's in in New Orleans uh, their defensive coordinator played for me and so i went in there recruiting one time and and he said jeff i got a little kid that i think's a really good football player but he's not getting recruited by the sec because he's too small he said and this is spring of his junior year when you normally when you get your get offers right, right? Yeah. so everybody'd been through and nobody really took him because he was you know my size five nine five ten and so I said, okay, bring it, bring him out. And this is a Catholic school in inner city of New Orleans. So a kid comes out and he's got a t-shirt, I mean, a coat and tie on and the whole yeah. thing. And really nice kid, light skinned kid. And uh, we're talking and I really liked the kid. So I took his film back and we turned him down because we didn't think he was big enough because you could barely see him on tape. The film wasn't very good. And it was Tyran Matthew. And <laughs> as crazy as that is, it wasn't until late in the recruiting process that he actually blew up and and started to get you know play 
And then when, as soon as soon as the Tigers, you know, wanted him, it was it was over, you know. And and uh, but you know, it's amazing the the football. You know, the NFL keeps stat it keeps stats on everything, and Louisiana is always either one or two in terms of number of NFL players per capita, you know, in, in the state, right. Yeah. They produce outstanding football players every year. You go around, you go around the rosters of the NFL and they're just loaded with Louisiana kids. What was it like to go up against Saban uh, in that game? I mean, that oh, was, LSU team was, went on to, to win a national championship. Yeah, that was, it was awesome. Mock was the quarterback and Mock was like really a game manager. He was a good quarterback. He wasn't going to be an NFL player, but they had, Andrew Whitworth was playing left tackle for him at that time. And I mean, they were loaded. They had tons of guys. I mean, I remember you, you, you're you out there warming up and we're down on one end and you look down the end, down towards the other. There's a tunnel where they come out of. And all of a sudden, and you can't, it's really narrow. And all of a sudden you see the yellow helmets in the tunnel. Yeah. And then the, then the buzz starts in the stadium and then they come on the field. And I remember, and like I said, this is a team. We had played Miami. We had beaten Michigan State, right? I mean, we played. We had a good football team. We yeah. weren't, like, just going to roll over. But I remember seeing them come out of that tunnel. And I went <laughs> I went to one of my players. I said, turn around. Don't look down there. Because <laughs> they, were, they were a pretty intimidating bunch, man. And and um, we hung with them for a while. But it was, it was really interesting to see – how and I understand how Saban wins like he does. They were extremely disciplined, fundamentally sound, played extremely hard. Um, you know all the things that you see his Alabama teams do now. Yeah, they they did. Mm-hmm.